just pulled into the infamous Lizzie Borden murder house. It's been almost a decade since I was here, and it's the stuff of nightmares. Disembodied voices and cries in the night, footsteps falling throughout the entire house. I mean, this house is clearly haunted. It's been investigated hundreds of times, but this is the first time that we're going to take on the Lizzie Borden curse. Could there be a Borden family curse? And was Lizzie a victim? Did an evil entity take possession of her body and turn her into a cold-blooded killer? Can the curse be broken? Hopefully, we'll get those answers during the next few days. It all began on the morning of August 4th, 1892, when Fall River, Massachusetts police were called to investigate a murder at the home of respected businessman, Andrew Borden, Lizzie's father. It was a gruesome scene. Andrew's face had been bludgeoned 11 times with a hatchet. The corpse, still bleeding, suggesting that he had been murdered within the hour. His nose had been completely severed from his face. His eyeball left dangling on his cheekbone. The bloody scene continued upstairs, where Andrew's wife, Abby Borden, stepmother to Lizzie and Emma Borden, was found lying face down in a pool of blood. Her head smashed to pieces. Of the two murders, Abby's was far more gruesome, with 18 savage hacks delivered to her head. 